Hello people, hope you all are doing great. This is Dee and thank you for joining me in today's video. I'm starting a new episode of Nardo Shippuden and I'm watching two episodes together. I'm watching episode 127 and 128. It seems like the backstory of Jiraiya as per your comments. I'm expecting it to be um, like Akashi Chronicles. And especially after watching the last episode where Sonare and Jiraiya were having a conversation regarding past, I'm kind of curious to know more about Jiraiya, Sonare and how was the village back in the days. Alright, I want to start this right away but a quick reminder that all my episodes reaction videos are available on Patreon a week before YouTube, uncensored, unedited. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. My handles are on screen right now. And if you're watching me on YouTube, then please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. Alright, then let's start. Oh, the bell training. I have two bells in my hand. And the fact that there are only two means that one of us will lose. Orochimaru, Tsunade. Hey, if I get a bell, then you go out with me, Tsunade. Fine, but when you lose, <laughs> don't bother me anymore, alright? Yeah, alright! So he was after her since they were kids. He's like Naruto, isn't he? So many chances. Here goes! Yeah, he's... <laughs> he's... <laughs> he's exactly like Naruto. <laughs> oh my god, he called her flat as a board again. Now, now, I think that's enough. Tsunade and Orochimaru may go. Bye. The team dynamics is exactly like what uh, Naruto's team uh, dynamics was when they were kids. How can I make you such obvious traps? Can't help it. Perhaps oh my god. you're simply lacking a purpose to give you direction. Oh, he's doing that summoning jutsu thing. Summoning jutsu. Oh, oh, this guy, this monkey man. You make a contract in blood with an animal, and then you can summon that animal at any given time using the transportation technique. Uh, I want to make a contract with that one too. Right oh, now. Sorry, this is transportation technique. Come on, are you kidding me? More training? You will always find the answer to any problem within your training. He doesn't like training. Raya had found a purpose. If I were to have a boyfriend, I'd choose Orochimaru over a <laughs> friend like you. Oh my god. I just have to become the ultimate ninja and then I'll sweep Tsunade up her feet. Now that I know what I need to do, there's no time to waste. Oh my god, his purpose is to boo Tsunade. It wasn't for me when he was a kid. Becoming a ninja. And not just Tsunade. I'm gonna get all the pretty girls. Let's see. Concentrate my chakra. Make I take my words back. Or dog, bird, and go! Oh! 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 Where did he go? Oh, is he going into the land where all the animals live? Like in another dimension? Kama Bunto. Oh, the snake is here. He used to call himself Master Jiraiya <laughs> even when he was a kid. That was good. Ha! Now that's the way you do it. Hmm. Uh, it's a human child. Uh, are you seriously a talking toad? To think that <laughs> would come to Mount Mioboku. I never thought I'd see it. So I see. You have arrived at last. Do you say that as though you were expecting me to show up all along? Right. That's because we knew you were coming. The great oh. elder predicted this very happenstance. Well, I'm afraid I don't know. What? You don't right. know? You must stay here and train. Wait, wait, hold He's on. gonna stay I here? My mind to become strong so that I'd be popular with the girls. Not so I'll be popular with the dogs. <laughs> But if he's gonna stay here, you did manage to come to Mount Mioboku after all. That is proof enough that you are indeed the chosen one that the great Lord Elder spoke of. So, isn't Saratoba Sensei looking for him? I like the sound of that. Training to become a sage. But he was worst of them all. <laughs> oh, now he can lift that boulder, man. I like the pink clouds. Oh, it's grown up. 
gotten stronger since coming. It's Don handsome man. Tsunade is as cold as ever. <laughs> His situation with Tsunade didn't change. Should my purpose be merely to impress girls? Absolutely, do something that bigger. the only reason that I'm trying to become strong? Jiraiya! Jiraiya! Yeah? You summoned me? Oh, how nice. So you finally come. I like what he's wearing. <laughs> the graduation uh, hat uh, thing. Who are you again? Lord, this is Jiraiya. <laughs> yeah, he's the human <laughs> child. Oh, yes. The one who summoned him here in the first place, you great senile geezer. Ma, how dare you? You mustn't refer to the great Lord Elder as a senile geezer. Respect, <laughs> would you? Who are you again? Oh, my God. <laughs> If he remembers that. Yes, sir. You who are singularly pervy should become a great singularly leader. pervy. And once you do, you shall acquire an apprentice of your very own. Oh. Pervy? Oh, I can't oh. believe he remembers that of all things. <laughs> that apprentice will become a ninja who will bring about a great change in the ninja world. That is what I foresaw in my dream. So it's either one or the other. What does that mean exactly? Exactly. And eventually there will come a day when you will be forced to make a critical selection. To make a selection? Oh. Yes, and way that this great change is going to go. In my dream, I see you traveling around the world writing books. Writing, writing books? books. But, but, That's why he writes furby novels. No. But perhaps it means you shall travel widely, seeing all things in Okay, this that's universe. why he's always traveling. But great Lord Elder, have any of your prophecies ever not come to pass? That's why he's always traveling, right? He's never in, so in the village. Traveling. Is that right? So had he not that's told him the prophecy, what what now would he be doing? journeyed and searched for the meaning behind the great Lord Elder's dream. The state of the world grew steadily more chaotic. And everywhere, people began to suffer great hardship. Oh, really? Mm. I journeyed from land to land, as I was foretold in a dream. Oh, here's a kid. What's wrong? Huh. Oh my god, that freaked me. Oh, that's a puppet. It's just a puppet. An age of war is coming. So he's a shinobi too. From Sand Village. Wave toward the age of destruction. Please. Mm. Oh my God. What's that you're writing anyway? Just scribblings for now. But you know, if you really want to change something, change me. Oh my goodness. I suppose you're right. That does sound like a lot more fun. Hmm? I'll take over now. If you want to fight, fight me. It's been proven quite elusive. <laughs> it's useless to search for that. My people simply don't stand a chance against the shinobi villages of the great nations. I am a teacher in a village, and what I do there is show the children just how they can fight back when they find themselves facing a harsh fate. Who is so this? What? Let me ask wow. you, just what are that was cool. choices then? Hmm. Self-defense. That's not good enough. I must find the revolutionary who can bring peace to the world. Oh. So he's looking for an apprentice. Or to bring about a peace unlike any we've known. All we can do is pray and have faith. That's all any man can do oh. in this world. Oh, so he's looking for someone who is motivated enough to change the world. Hmm. What's that? <clears throat> that is Naruto. Why would a shinobi do this? Was it the same village that he just... That guy was the... Huh? What's happening? <sighs> that Shuriken Jutsu. You're from the Fuma, Shuriken. aren't you? Why are you attacking villagers living in peace? The balance of power between the lands is teetering, and we're standing on the verge of a great war. That oh, is this guy? Was destroyed because of a tip that Shinobi had infiltrated it. Look, just give up now. This is our fate. The fate of Shinobi. I don't want to hear it. Just die! Yeah, yeah, I thought so. That. Who is this guy? Oh my god, that cut mark was like what Akatsuki is. said that I'm destined to train the revolutionary who the at last band. bring peace to this troubled world. Oh, that is when Dan 
was killed, right? Yeah. Yeah. Tsunade. I must find the revolutionary from the prophecy. I must choose the one who could bring peace. It would one day be called the third great ninja war. Oh. And all, thanks to their exploits as the legendary Sanni. Ah. Okay, so because he they they fought in the battle, they were known as just like legendary Sanni. The way they fought. Okay. But it's it's so nice to see um, Orishimaru <laughs> fighting for uh, the Leaf Village like as a Leaf Shinobi. In a way, it's it's weird to think that Orochimaru at some point of time was a dedicated Leaf Shinobi who used to fight uh, for the uh, fight in on behalf of Leaf uh, Hidden Leaf Village, and he did all. He was a good person, right? He was <laughs> a good person. And then his thirst for knowledge just uh, took him into another direction. So now, now we know Jiraiya is on a hunt for an apprentice who can bring peace to this uh, shinobi um, world. And that apprentice is Naruto. So it, it also makes sense uh, the way uh, Jiraiya started training Naruto on Rasengan and all the other stuff. Hmm. Okay, so he's hoping one day Naruto will bring peace to this shinobi world. It was a good episode. So I'm gonna watch the next video right after. But I'll wrap up this video here. Please drop your likes and comments on the video. And please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And all my reaction videos are available on Patreon. Unedited and censored a weekly for YouTube. Alright, then I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.